This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Outlook for January through April 2017. So taking a look at the presentation, we will discuss our recent weather, move on to drought conditions, look at how the current fuels are doing, we will discuss El Nino, La Nina changes, and then move on to the expected weather for January through April. Finally, we'll put all these pieces together and show you our fire potential outlook. So looking at the recent weather, um, precipitation for, for December was generally close to above average. Uh, the exception to this is across portions of southwestern Nevada and pockets in southeastern and southern Utah where uh, precipitation was below normal. Temperatures were above normal generally across the southern part of the Great Basin and at or below normal across the northern areas in the Great Basin. The drought monitor has uh, drought ranging from abnormally dry to severe drought across the Great Basin. And the outlook is for most of this drought to be removed with the exception of southwestern Nevada where things have been the driest. So how about our fuels? 100 hour fuels are pretty average across the area. Uh, the exception to this is the portions of Nevada and that little pocket in Utah where things have been drier. So how could El Nino or La Nina affect us moving into the spring? Currently we are uh, experiencing a weak La Nina. These uh, cold sea surface temperature anomalies are typically uh, are typical of a La Nina, but they're not very strong, so it's a weaker La Nina. And the forecast is for this La Nina to continue to weaken and continue to weaken, and we will move into ENSO neutral conditions moving into the spring. So you can see these green bars are the likelihood of an ENSO neutral uh, regime, and that is increasingly likely as we move into the spring. A typical wintertime La Nina pattern is depicted here on this map. You can see typically in the wintertime we would be cool and wet across the north, and that's generally what we've seen so far this winter. However, La Nina will weaken, and we will uh, see a return to a more typical wintertime springtime pattern for the Great Basin. So putting these all together, what happens to what happens from here as far as the weather? Uh, the forecast for January is for cooler than average temperatures across the majority of the Great Basin, uh, perhaps a little drier across Idaho, uh, some increased moisture across western Nevada where we really need it. So we move into February, it looks like we could see some warmer than average temperatures across the south and drier than normal conditions across the south. Then moving into March, we look at uh, cooler than normal temperatures across the western part of the Great Basin um, and above normal precipitation across pretty much the entire Great Basin. And as we move into March, that's when we'll start to see our fine fuels uh, begin to grow. And so if we do see a wetter than normal March, there is uh, the potential for a large grass crop. And then as we move into April, it looks like we warm up uh, but keep some increased moisture across the north northern and western portions of the Great Basin. So if we put this all together, uh, we'll get our outlook for January. We are expecting normal uh, fire potential for all areas of the Great Basin. Um, and if we look at the national fire potential outlook, you can see uh, for January, the entire country is expected to be normal. And then as we move into February, March, and April, we start to see uh, things forecast to pick up across the south and the southeast in those March and April. For the Great Basin, we will stay normal all the way through April. That is what our forecast is for this time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is here on the screen. And you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.